Hi, and welcome to our channel. <laughs> I'm Elisa. My name. Oh. Hi, Hi guys. <laughs> to do the I teach two tag by two call for middle school the question one what do you teach and where you go first okay so um, this will be my first year teaching I will be teaching fifth grade um, ELA so reading and writing in Texas Cute. <laughs> I am uh, my first year as well. I'm going to be teaching kinder bilingual. Okay, so I guess that <laughs> answers question number two. Question number two was how long have you been teaching? Oh, yeah. So we just completed our student teaching. Yes. Um, we went through this whole crazy program. Which program. Mm -hmm. We'll probably just do a whole other video on that. Um, but we taught all year last year so this is our official first year teaching but it feels more like year number two yeah but it's okay it's our first year yeah so how long have you been teaching this will be our very, very first, first year, year teaching <laughs> <laughs> okay uh what no, did you always know you wanted to be a teacher oh um i always knew i wanted to be a teacher since forever in elementary, whenever they asked me, I said I wanted to be a teacher. So yeah, this is my dream, and I'm finally living it out. Very cute. Oh. <laughs> um, I was a nursing major cool. before this. Um, I always wanted to be a teacher, but my parents were always like, get yourself a job that's going to give you money, because during that time, it was when teachers were getting laid off, because I was in California. So then I decided to go for nursing. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get a lot of money. But it um, turned out that I don't do good with blood. So <laughs> then I ended up passing out, and I was like, oh, time to change careers. So yes, I always want, I always knew I wanted to be a teacher, but I was never pursuing it, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah, for this. Okay, so question number four. What is your typical teacher outfit of the day? <laughs> oh my goodness. So my typical teacher outfit of the day has to include a cardigan. Definitely has to include a cardigan. Mm -hmm. um, so probably some nice pants, maybe a plain colored pants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me. Some little sandals, a cardigan, a little like nice plain shirt. That's my teacher outfit of the day. Mm -hmm. Mine's like pop color like I have pink pants like I think my signature not signature outfit more like the outfit I wear all the time would be like <laughs> pink pants teal shirt and then like my blue crocs <laughs> like hashtag colorful yes that's how my bitmoji is too I'll put it somewhere here so you can see it <laughs> my colorful bitmoji okay so next question what do you usually bring for lunch oh we, we would bring each, each other, other lunch oh <laughs> We would make each other lunch. Um, my friend here wants to be vegan. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> she would bring me vegan lunch. She brought vegan nachos this one time, and everyone was like, How is it vegan? I know. <laughs> Where's the cheese? Where's the cheese? Whatever. But um, we used to bring each other lunch. Before that, I was so bad. I would just grab like Cheetos from the vending machine in a water. Like, I, I don't make my lunch. I, hopefully, that's teacher goals this year that I make my lunch eat every day. Lunch. Eat healthier, <laughs> lose weight, you know, all <clears> those <throat> things. But yeah, we used to make each other lunch. It wasn't typical. We would bring random stuff or whatever we had for leftovers. Yeah. It wasn't, we didn't eat the same thing every day. Yeah, like, we didn't really didn't ever. like meal prep or anything. Yeah, so we didn't have a typical lunch. <laughs> uh, what is one of your favorite books about teaching? Hmm. So I recently read, what is it, 51? From Ron, from Ron Yeah, from Ron Clark. I read that book, and I fell in love with it. I really liked it, all of his scenarios and stuff. Um, I really took a lot of good points away from that. So I would have to say that's my favorite book about teaching right now. Read one. <laughs> What's a book about teaching? What book about teaching? So if you have any recommendations, yes. please let us know so that I, way we can I need um, some start books reading. To read. mm -hmm. yes. I've also heard Wong. Hello? Yes, our We've teacher. Heard that he is. He's very good. Very. So, what is one of your favorite teacher movies? Bad teacher. <laughs> oh, ah, that movie. You it. haven't seen no. it. That one's so funny. I really like Bad Teacher. But Cameron Diaz. Yeah. Yes, I've heard. I, really I saw like the previews. It. I haven't seen it. Um. 
I other than that, I don't think I've really seen too many teacher movies. Mm, Skull Rock. Just kidding. <laughs> I haven't seen that you one. Seen no. Skull Rock. Skull Rock's cute. Um, what is that one called about? I just I'm just bad with names. The one whenever Same. um everyone passes like a SAT or something and then they all think Freedom like Riders? A, yes, and they oh, all think yes, like, that's a really that's good a teacher movie. I don't think it was that one, but Freedom Riders is really cute. I really <laughs> like that movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one the one that yes. I watched is real good. <laughs> I'm like with the guy that played Selena's dad. No. I just I'll I'll look it up. I'll Who was your favorite teacher? <laughs> Like my student teacher, like my, my my teacher for my student teaching. Or my favorite teacher, or maybe like just elementary. Out of your whole, like vibe. My whole life. I think like out of your whole vibe. Um, I like who inspired me to be a teacher. That's usually just like your favorite. your favorite. My favorite teacher um, had to be my third grade teacher. No, fourth grade. Fourth grade teacher because she was the one that like would record herself so I can read a lot oh, with books. Oh, that's nice. Because you were, yeah. you were I came learning, from Mexico. Yeah, you were learning yeah. English. I was learning English, so I didn't know how to read. And um, she would record herself reading certain things of a book. And then I would have to take it home and put it in my cassette player. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it shows my age. Um, put it in like a little cassette player thing. And I would listen to it as she was reading. And that's how I really, that's, that's probably why I'm very like an audio an auditory, auditory learning, learner yeah. because that's how I started learning English. So one of my favorite teachers, I have quite a few, but my favorite teacher is kind of like a mentor to me. Um, she was my high school speech teacher, and then she ended up being our cheer sponsor. She was really a really awesome teacher, really pushed me to do my best in high school. So that was one of my favorite Aww. teachers. Yes. <laughs> Who are some of your favorite teacher YouTubers, Instagrammers, Snapchatters? So, right now, I think all year we've had an obsession with the Lettered Classroom pocket full of and primary. Pocket Full of Primary. Yes. Those are, Those are our top, top two. two, but I've definitely started um, watching a lot of other teacher YouTubers. Um, yeah, I think I can't. What's the name of her channel? She just started making teacher vlogs again. I think it's the Happy Classroom. I don't know. I have to put her I think link we have down to below. Go, like beyond yeah. those two, because it's like I don't know. I've been watching really um, a lot of other teacher vlogs as well. Lately, I watch though. them as like they come up next. Yeah, they <laughs> pop up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I haven't like focused. But for sure, um, Pocketful Primary and the Lettered and Classroom, the lettered classroom <laughs> are like. Yes, and I can really really relate to the lettered classroom now because I'm not going to be teaching fourth grade, but I'll be teaching fifth grade ELA, which is what she teaches now. So, she teaches ELA fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> what is one of your best classroom management tips? Be consistent. Follow yeah, through. Yeah, definitely. I have Setting those expectations yes. and then going and following through following with them. Following through because yeah. it so happened to be that my last resource for my classroom management was the first thing that I had like I had a clip system for my kindergartners and the only reason why it wasn't working is because I didn't follow through so I tried a whole Definitely. bunch of different things and it wasn't working and it wasn't that those things weren't working like the strategies aren't working mm -hmm. is that I never followed through with them so I mean I think that I think that's why there's like um student teaching so you can mess yes. up like that yeah but um i would definitely like just like follow through with their expectations if it's not working mm -hmm. change it but always make sure to follow through. yes make sure you set them and then follow through with them yeah i think those are my that'd be my tips um what is one reason you decided to become a teacher oh um, I don't know. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I just, I love, I loved learning when I went to school. I would cry because I had to miss a day of school because I was sick. So I think like my teachers, I looked at them like, man, they're so awesome. And I want to be just like them. So I think that's really the main reason why I become a teacher. Mm -hmm. wanted to become one, but it's definitely changed now that I am starting to get into the profession why I want to be a teacher. But that was like initially why. I, um, you know that quote that's like, oh, teacher is the one that starts all the other professions. Yeah, like, yeah, it's true. I wanted to be, um, I've always wanted to be the person that like starts off something. Like I wanted to be an OB because I'm the first person that gives them life. Oh my gosh. Not gives them life, that's the but mother. Yeah, but you know, like I bring them. them. Yeah. So then I want, so the teacher is like the first person that starts off their career. Like right. you right. have to have a teacher in order for them to continue yeah, with any You have to profession. have a teacher to be a lawyer, to be a yeah. doctor, to be so, an astronaut, whatever, you have to have a teacher. So that's that's really why I wanted to do it. I wanted to like have an impact or an influence on someone. And oh, that's cute. That's I'll put that quote somewhere. Yep. 
Hashtag quote it. <laughs> okay, so those are all of the questions for oh, the I Teach Two tag. We hope you like our video. We'll be posting more. Yes. And thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.